awkward when I'm starting to film a video. Okay, what's going on everyone? So two years ago, I made a video where I wore only handmade clothes all week and I really wanted to do it again um, because my style has significantly changed since then. I have made a lot of new things and also I think my sewing has improved a bit and it was just a really fun video to make last time. I really got to appreciate all of my handmade items and so I want to do that again. So here are all my handmade clothes that I could find. I'm really mad because apparently I, in like a fit of, I need to get rid of some of my clothes last year, I got rid of so many cute tops that would have gone like perfectly with my style right now and why? I hope someone out there is enjoying them. Basically, I'm gonna put together a different outfit made entirely of handmade clothes for each day of the week, excluding like shoes, because I don't know how to make shoes, and excluding underwear as well. I have made some handmade underwear, but not enough. So most of these are handmade from scratch, but there are a few pieces in here that are significantly upcycled as well. For example, uh, this, this sweater here, this short sleeve sweater, it was originally a piece from Princess Highway, um, but I count it as significantly upcycled and therefore I'm putting it in here because I turned the sleeves from long to short sleeves and cropped it a bit, so I count that as significantly altered. And if you don't like those rules, whatever, it's my videos, so that's what I'm doing. All right, let's get started. So today is Tuesday, it is 18 degrees maximum outside today, uh, so like pretty nice weather, but not super warm. So I'm probably gonna want something like a long sleeve top. So I think today I am feeling... Okay, yeah, this outfit's pretty cute. Um, I'm just having a little predicament. <sighs> Let me sing you my predicament in song form. It makes you feel great when you're only 28 and your body decides to start having hot flushes. So I'm gonna put a new top on <laughs> that isn't a turtleneck because I'm boiling to death. These work together really well and I'm not boiling to death. Yay! All right, so I'm actually meant to be finishing up filming a video, so I'm going to put my face on because when I don't put makeup on, I get heaps of comments saying I look really sick. <laughs> Thanks. The nozzle of this doesn't work, so I'm just like <sniffs> spotting it on my face. Wow, I should totally do beauty tutorials. <laughs> I'm so good at this. Now, if your foundation's run now, just stick your finger in there and pull out a whole, pull out way too much, and then cake it onto your face <laughs> and then use a sponge that you've had for about a year um it's real filthy uh, get that grime and bacteria yeah just like really really wipe it into your skin mm. and then because you use one side of this manky old thing for <laughs> blush accidentally put that on one side of your face Oh, uh, in the area that blush isn't supposed to go. Makeup guru. I've got a chunk missing out of my eyebrow here, so I always just use an eyebrow pencil to be like, bloop. Yes, I have two fully filled in eyebrows. I have no idea how to do my brows. I just always kind of color them in. I just draw some pencil over the top. They're always uneven. Makeup guru. Wow, that's not even. Oh, I got foundation on my skirt. What color lipstick do I wear? I never know. I, then I guess I just go for red. Red? Maybe pink. Maybe brown. Maybe just a light red. So to put blush on, you gotta become a fish. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Gorgeous. Makeup guru. Would you like to go for a walk? <laughs> I take that as a yes. I'm going to take this sweater with me because I'm pretty sure it's cold outside and maybe my hot flush will end. I'm also gonna wear this cute upcycled hat. 
the park as well. I made this too. Safety first. What expression can you can you show easily that you're um, smiling while you're wearing a mask? Sad. Uh, skeptical. Are you into bed already? Dude, it's six o'clock, you haven't even had dinner. Oh, bye. Oh. Yeah, I'm headed probably. Did you just vomit on the bed? Did you just vomit on the bed? Oh, snooty. Uh. <laughs> yeah! Well, howdy, it is Wednesday. I have had the uh, worst night's sleep. My shoulder is doing a fun thing at the moment where it partially dislocates every time I lie down for more than like an hour. I got woken up just as I had finally gotten back to sleep by a call from my physio saying that they have an appointment for me because I got them to put me on the cancellation list. So today, I'm gonna get dressed. We're gonna take Ella out for a walk. Then I'm gonna go to my physio appointment. So let's find an outfit. It's kind of cold outside, but it's also humid. So I think I can get away with wearing like shorts, but cause it's a physio appointment, I need to wear something that's kind of not super fitted, something I can probably take off easily. And uh, we have an Ella here who is making sure that I am getting dressed so that we can go out for this walk that I have promised her. You'd like to go for a walk? Look at me. I'm extremely cute. I'm a blue boy. I didn't actually make this beret, but I want to wear a blueberry with this all blue outfit and it matches my shorts perfectly so hey blue boy i heard you saying you're a blue boy i am a blue boy and then in case i get cold i'm gonna take this cute little cropped sweater with me oh yeah that'll go nicely you'll remember that i wore this a lot in the previous one of these videos that i made annika victoria that says 2018 which is hard to see on the tag that's cute that i did that i don't usually make tags for my clothes but i should do that more often it's nice knowing when i made it all right ella ready to go hey ella <laughs> you having fun oh hey chano you look really cute today oh, thank you what are these called? I don't know. They're so soft and cute. What are they called? Say it in the comments. We want to know. And we are not Googling it. I've just been asked to be on a panel tomorrow for the CYDA, which is the Children's and Youth with Disabilities Australia. They really wanted me to be on this like online Zoom panel tomorrow, which is so nice. Um, it is at freaking 10 a.m. And I don't usually wake up until then, so I'm gonna have to get up early. But it's really nice to be recognized as someone who has interesting things to say um, when it comes to the topic of disability. It's really cool, this kind of thing would have really scared me. Like, if even a few years ago, I would have been like, I can't do that, I'm an imposter. But now I'm like, yeah, I can talk about that. I can talk about that stuff in my sleep. It's really cool. Bye, Ella. I told her she's not coming with us and she's having a sulk on the bed. I'm sorry, you hold down the foot. Got all taped up by my physio. My shoulder feels so much better. We accidentally drove through the middle of the city. I'm sorry that I'm a bad navigator. <laughs> this is like the center of Sydney. <laughs> this is probably the busiest, most traffic ridden street. It's good experience. Sydney. Hey, Ella. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, hi. hi. Did we leave? I'm so sorry. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. Are you telling us all about it? What happened while we were gone? Okay. What happened? Oh. 
She's like, why are you petting me? Why? <laughs> oh, you're being very good. Let me wash my hands and then I can pet you. Website Wonders, brought to you by Squarespace. Jesus, what a racket! What's going on here? Don't flip your wig. I have a real humdinger of an idea. I'm making one of those newfangled websites. <laughs> well, ain't you an eager beaver? I think this is a little above your pay grade, though. Do you need some help? Way off. This is a killer deal site I'm making here. Done. Come over here and take a geese. This thingamabob is your website? You're a real drip, Squiddy. <laughs> Oh, big deal, big wheel. Why don't you give it a shot? All right, prepare your peepers. This is the website that I made using Squarespace, which is the best way to make your new website. Let me show you some of the innovative features that I have set up. Squarespace can authenticate with your social media profiles, letting you auto post your content to Twitter, Facebook, and even Tumblr. Social what? You know, connecting millions of people around the world to each other via the information superhighway known as the internet. Sending word from the bird to slack happy lambs around town? Right on. Squarespace? I'm also using Squarespace email campaigns. They let your email stand out in any inbox and also let your loyal fans know about any new products or news or posts. You like that, huh? Then check out the inbuilt traffic overview. It shows website visits, page views, and page view trends over time. That's really swell and all, but what the bugkus is this Lulu whatchamacallit? It's my Squarespace website. And you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain by going to squarespace.com forward slash Annika. Don't what now? Cook with gas with a freebie from this sharp pistol. Take a gander at the Squarespace booth at your next dance or local flick and mention the name Annika. Hello, it is Wednesday, um, it is earlier than I am normally awake, and I am giving, no, it's not Wednesday. I am about to give a talk that hopefully won't be complete nonsense at a disability summit, and I am not yet dressed, and it starts in 18 minutes, so time to find some clothes. Is this a weird outfit? It's probably fine. It's too early in the morning for me to be getting dressed. <laughs> oh well, I start in five minutes, so this is what I got. Too late to choose another outfit now. Uh, wish me luck. I'm waiting to go on. That actually went really well. I don't know how. I felt like I was talking nonsense, but then I actually got to read a transcript afterwards and I sound smart. I'm very proud of myself. I'm very excited because some packages just arrived. I may have bought some things from Depop. And by may have, I definitely bought things from Depop. Ah! <laughs> it's so cute. It's hard to tell on camera, but it's got like subtle black on black pinstripes. Um, and it's like a really gorgeous linen-y fabric. It's really, really breathable. A proper vintage swimsuit with like built-in cups and- Whoa! The built-in cups have um, little flowers on them. Oh, this is gorgeous. It's got a little skirt on it as well. Oh, this is so nice. And that concludes my mini haul. Hey Annika, this is for your day in the life segment, week in the life, Thursday segment for showing you doing some filming. Now I'm working on this freaking top and this elastic that's taking me one million years. You'll know if you saw the tutorial. Mm. Ah! <laughs> I'm very sweaty. I've been doing this for like an unreasonable amount of time. Who knew that pulling elastic through a simple casing could be so difficult. I do. Now, this is the breakdown behind the scenes that you never got to see. <laughs> ah. 
Hello, it's Friday, but first I just wanted to show you my pajamas that I wore last night because they're handmade. I didn't have enough pajamas to wear for a whole week, um, otherwise I would have also been showing you those. So it is a beautiful day outside. Both me and Lucia are feeling quite anxious this morning, so even though we both want to do some work later today, we're going to go out to sit in a park first. I think I might wear this top with these shorts. Hmm, actually, I'm gonna go all pink today. Hello, where are we? <gasps> hey Ella, it's time to <laughs> what you got there? Drop it, leave it. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> she hates being filmed. As soon as the camera on, she's like, no. I have a horrendously bad migraine, so um, that'll be it. Yay for going to sleep at 6 p.m. Um, so see you tomorrow. I think we can all agree on one thing though. My boobs look amazing when I'm laying down in this top. Hello, it's Saturday and I am exhausted. That migraine really took it out of me. It is a sleepy day. <laughs> kind of. I have to finish a video today. So, I do have to do that, but I want to be as comfy and cozy as possible. It's also 27 degrees outside. It's not very cool at all. In fact, it's the opposite of that. It's warm. What am I saying? I don't know. Basically, I'm gonna try and find something comfy to wear. Comfy, but cool. I think I am going to wear this little crochet top I made up about two years ago. I think I'm actually gonna go with pants. These are super lightweight and comfortable. They don't, I think it's just cotton, so it doesn't make me too hot. Yeah, elastic waist, nice. Nice? <laughs> Cute. This is me setting up my workspace, featuring a sad schnoot who really wants to go somewhere. You want in or out? You wanna go out? Okay, bye. I'm just gonna ask to come back in in two seconds. Okay, this is synced up file 26. See? Uh, okay. Narrowly avoided disaster there. <laughs> okay, what was I doing? So we're touching the ruffle to the back. I'm trying not to stab myself this time. Okay, I finished uh, filming the video. It is now nighttime. I won't uh, give away how it went in case you haven't watched the video, but oh boy, am I frustrated. Anyway, me and Luciano are gonna have a date night now. We're gonna go and drive to a lookout or something, buy some dessert and have a nice Friday night. But um, it is not warm enough anymore for this top. So I'm just gonna put on something a little more comfortable. Switched out the crochet top for this cute upcycled sweater. Look at me, I'm adorable. Time for a cute, cozy Friday night. And I'm off work now, so see you tomorrow. Hey, I'm back because I just realized I thought it was Friday night and it is absolutely not. It is Saturday. 2020, huh? Good morning. It's Sunday and me and Luciano are having a day off. We're gonna go and look at rubbish on the side of the road, literally. So we have this thing in Australia called Council Cleanup where people can get rid of things from their household and it goes straight to the tip, which is such a waste because people will throw out like perfectly good furniture and brand new things and <sighs> We can finally go pick some of that stuff up because we have a car, which yes, is contributing to carbon emissions, etc. It's a very fuel efficient car and I can't get public transport right now. So win some, lose some, let's find an outfit. It is boiling hot today. So I'm going to wear as little clothes as possible. I think I'll pair that with these. 
blue corduroy shorts that I made recently with a Taylor Nova pattern. Oh, they get so crumpled. My boobs got too big for this top. They're really being pancaked. So instead, I'm gonna find another top. I think I am going to wear, this is literally a swim top that I made, but it is like 32 degrees outside, so I'm gonna wear a swim top. Okay, I changed my like entire outfit. Okay, so I'm wearing this swim top that I made when I was living in Tokyo last year because I couldn't find any swimmers in stores and I wanted to go swimming. It's got swimsuit lining on the inside, um, but this is just like cotton. And I put on these shorts that are just, they're not lined or anything, and this is a very thin cotton, so they are very good for a boiling day. Did I mention it is boiling today? This is basically as close as I could get to wearing my, my underwear outside as possible without actually wearing my underwear. So it's time to go look, look strong, go look tough. I'm in my rubbish collection outfit. Let's go collect some rubbish. We've come to a super fancy area because fancy people, well, look, they've got fancy stuff, right? Hopefully, maybe, we'll see. We found some outdoor chairs, which is something we really needed. They're a little bit like used, but I think they would look really nice with a varnish and having some of the screws tightened up and a couple of cute pillows on top. Maybe I should do a DIY for that. Wow, I love looking through trash. I had such a great time looking through trash with you, Luchi. <laughs> I'm glad. New chat! Hello everyone, it's Monday and today is cloudy, only 22 degrees, but muggy as frick, it's so humid. Gonna go for a kind of summer type of outfit. Let me show you. I realized if I paired this polka dot top that I made in my Taylor Nova review video with this skirt, I could basically make a dress. I am a sexy polka dot granny and I'm loving it. Oh, I'm so sad because Alec is working this morning. Wah. Okay, so done my meetings. Done, almost done my video. <laughs> we gotta take this sad schnoot out for a walk. Would you like to go for a walk? <laughs> but it's getting a little bit colder because it's later in the afternoon now, so I am going to change out of my sexy granny polka dot outfit into something a bit warmer. All I wanna do is to turn into a zebra woman, a zebra woman. All I wanna be is a, na -na -na -na, a zebra woman. <laughs> Did I get some zebra glasses from Depop? Yes. Ella, you wanna go for a walk now? I'm sorry, I have to get dressed and do a silly song. Very important. You all laugh. <laughs> the end. <laughs> ah, hello. Hey everyone, it's Kit, the hot one. The one you all love. This is too cute. Oh my god, don't get blown off the wall! Ella is stressed and I can't. I have had the best day that I have had in months today. It's really nice. <laughs> All down to the power of polka dots and zebra print, right? Anyway, stay tuned for my conclusions. Looking back at the outfits I wore for the week, I have made some discoveries. The first is that, damn, I look amazing in the blue top I wore on Wednesday. I felt really good in that outfit and I've decided I should show off those shoulders more. This square style of neckline also really suits me, so that is something to keep in mind when I'm making more clothes. I also really want to make myself more of these tailored style shorts. These are actually a simple and really effective upcycle, so if you'd like, I'll show you how to do it in a future tutorial. Compared to when I did this challenge two years ago, I also like my handmade wardrobe a lot more. And I did follow my own suggestion back then that when I make clothes that I stick to simpler prints and solid colors for my fabrics, and I think that's turned out nicely. I noticed that a lot of my handmade clothing tends toward the red, purple, pink end of the color spectrum and tend to be more muted than bright, and I also think that suits me well. So when looking for and buying fabric in the future, I should continue to gravitate towards those colors. Different to my observations of two years ago, however, I have tended towards liking more tight-fitting clothing. Tight-fitting, but comfy. 
I think this aligns with my recent discovery of having hypermobile joints as tight clothes make me feel like my body is basically being held together. So I want to get back into making more shirt and stretchy tight fitting items of clothing to pair with comfy basics like elasticated pants and shorts. In fact, a few days after finishing filming this week, I followed some of my advice and I made myself a pair of elasticated pants, copying a style I'd seen online but with a looser elasticated waist instead of being fitted for maximum comfort and a tighter fitting top that shows off my neck and shoulders and also brings me closer to becoming the ultimate zebra lady that I now aim to embody in every waking moment. And now here's a couple of entirely handmade outfits that I didn't get to wear this week, but I wanted to quickly show you. And that's it. All of the handmade stuff that has tutorials for it will be in the description box below, listed by day so that you can easily find it if you wanna make it for yourself. Thank you so much for watching and stay crafty, everyone. Bye. Oh, right on. That's not a thing that was done in the <laughs> You're ready for me. It's my Squarespace web. Squarespace? Squarespace web? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, I like that.